Natalie. Yeah. I know Natalie, yeah. She, she came on my podcast, and I said to Natalie, I said, listen, I don't even have no issue with Blueface. My only thing was I, I do feel a way when a man kind of puts himself on a back burner, focuses on a woman, and he could have... He could put his own career at risk to build her. He did that. And this is what's fucked up, though. Krishan don't even understand. In this game, men have a lot of respect for women. They don't never want to see a female win. That man put his career on the back burner, jeopardized his career to push hers, meaning everything that needed to be done on some social-like shit was detrimental to his career as a rap artist, as you know it. That domestic shit don't fly. I watched the man totally shut everybody down and made it about Bill Nur. I seen it. She was homeless when he took her in. I know. I felt the hit. I personally probably lost 800000 Whack, no. The only thing I'm going to blame you for, though, is... You ain't blame me for nothing, no, bro. no, hold on, no. I don't force my clients to do that. No, no, that. no. I back their play whether I like it or not. You're right, but 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 he got a lot of respect for you, and and I ain't gonna lie, he was dead wrong when he said that. You notice if little baby's in contact with a with even, I know it's your girl, but you say you also manage her and she's an artist. You can't look at it like he's trying to have sex with your girl and ruin the relationship. You no, know, what he's looking at it is like this. Right? And every artist no protocol. If you want to do some business with the artist and you know who artist management is, you keep the business with the management. He's going to look at it like, since you didn't come to our regular management, we've been in contact with each other. We've been on tour buses for 30 days with each other. We've been in studios and they studios together. Right? And shit like that. You didn't contact me. He going to think as a man supposed to think. Now, whether that's what little Baby was up to or not, I don't know. I don't think he was because of the, even if he, the respect that he has for me and Pete. You know, maybe it was innocent. But putting blue face shoes on, he's not me and Pete. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Lil Baby would ever do anything to try to put me and Pete at odds because that's his artist and this is my artist because he know what our brotherhood is like and he know I love him like a nephew. He know that. So I don't think he was on nothing. But I can see how Blueface took it. Well, nigga, I'm looking at my DMs and my phone, and Wack ain't said no calls come through. What's that? And what it's about? I get it. Yo, Wack. It's lack of communication. Wack. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Real shit. No, Wack. Stop it. Yo, Wack. This is. This, this Bro, that's is... my extended family over there. No, no. I know. I know. I know. But, but you see all that shit you just done said? This is why. No matter when people no, say you what, only what? be on Clubhouse or whatever, this is why I'd be like, yo, whack a good manager, man, because no matter, like, I, I know you ain't the happiest. I ain't laying down on my, on my people. I, you know that. I ain't doing no laying down. I know you, you ain't. Fuck up, bro. I know you've been frustrated at times as there's been a transition. Definitely. Definitely. Fuck yeah. I called him and said, we got 150. He said, I got to go to a date with Rock. I said, nigga, I manage you. What the fuck are you talking about? A uh, 15,000. Niggas, you, yo, Nev, you all right? And the nigga, he did what he did. God damn. Yo, Wack, I don't know how you continue all of that because, man, I st I don't know how you feel about it, but I still think. When is, listen. I think music money is more this, than that. Music money is the. If it was based on straight business then yeah, it would have been a situation. But when it's sincere and it's bigger than business and we family, and I've been his age before, my oldest son, my only son is three years older than this young man. So I've been that, I've been his age before. You know, I see what he's going through. He intelligent, he gonna work his way through it, he gonna learn from it. You know, if I can't stand there with a motherfucker through the storm, then he should have me with him in the light. Whack. So the nigga said he got a hundred thousand for her to get an abortion. Have you ever pulled him to the side and be like, "Listen, nephew, there's a, there's a better way how to deal with this than in the public." Yo, he be. You know, with, 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 hey, uh, act. Let's be real. Uh, when feelings and emotions are involved, a motherfucker can say anything. That's true. That's and true. And that's why, in that situation, I limit how I deal with it. Because I know today it'll be this, right? 
And tomorrow, they'll be on FaceTime and he's sleeping. She's picking through his hair. And then I'm left out there in the rain because I just said some crazy shit. And then now when they come around me, it's uncomfortable. So I got to I got to just follow what he's doing, let him do what he do, and just be close enough so when he slip and fall, I don't let him fall. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, whack. You an interesting motherfucker, man. Hey, hey, 